Now moving ahead, let's check this method in the case of multiplication. See, I say 78 into 65 is 5070. So let's cross check the claim with our checking tool. Okay then. The digit sum of 78 is 7 plus 2 plus 6, that is 6. And the digit sum of 65 is 6 plus 3 plus 2, that is 2. So the combined digit sum will be 6 into 2, that is 12, or simply 3. And now, the digit sum of the given product, that is 5070, is 5 plus 4 plus 3, that is 9 plus 3, or simply 3. And it is the same as our combined digit sum. So, you can see that we can also verify multiplication problems with our checking tool. Here's one more example for you, Vidya. 99 into 97 is 9603. Sir, I'll check it. Digit sum of 99 is 9 or it can be 0 also. Then, digit sum of 97 is 7 only. And now combining 0 into 7 or 9 into 7 is 0 or 9 again. And then the given product that is 9603 digit sum is again 9 or 0. So here also digit sum is matching. Wow, that's great, sir. Hmm, but we are not finished yet, Vidya. Here is one more interesting question to cross-check with digit sum. 67 into 4.8 into 0 0.75 is 241.2. Baba, decimals? Hmm... Is there any difference in calculation of digit sum in case of decimals? No, Vidya. Decimal doesn't play a role in digit sum. In fact, we can check the validity of digit sum for any number of multiplicands. So, whenever we need to calculate digit sum involving decimal numbers, we just ignore the decimals. Okay, Baba. So, digit sum of 67 is 6 plus 3 plus 4 or simply 4. Then, digit sum of 48 is 3 plus 1 plus 8, that is 3. And then, 75's digit sum is 7 plus 2 plus 3 which is also 3. And now multiplying them, 4 into 3 into 3 is 36 or its digit sum is 9. Then sir, 2, 4, 1, 2's digit sum is 6 plus 3, that is 9. And it is matching with our combined digit sum. Okay, Baba. Now I have understood that decimal doesn't play any role in digit sum. Yes, Vidya, you're absolutely right. Now, let's move on to division. 